are in the humongous Gibson booth, which is always packed because Gibson has phenomenal products. I'm here with Dr. Epiphone today. What can you tell us a little bit about the company and then what, what's some of the new stuff that you have for this year? Well, um, Epiphone is 141 years old this year. Last year was our 140th anniversary. We started in 1873 in Sparta, Greece. Moved to the U.S. in 1903 and started making instruments in New York City. And then um, it was the uh, our founders was uh, Anastasia Stefanou. When he died, his oldest son took over the company and combined his nickname, which was Epi, short for Epimenides, and the Greek word for sound, which is phone. That's what the name. During the 20s and 30s, we're uh, rivals with a company called Gibson. Heard of them? And um, in the early 40s, um, Epi Stathopolo had a friend, had a radio show up in New York, and his friend asked to use the Epiphone factory as a workshop, and so in 1941, Epi's buddy took a 4x4 four four piece of pine, an Epiphone neck, and Epiphone body parts, and created the log, the world's first solid body electric guitar, and you know this guy better is Lester William Pulfus, Les Paul. So that's right, folks, Les Paul did the first solid body electric guitar at our factory in 1941 out of Epiphone parts. Of course, uh, Epi died a couple years later in the war and all that stuff, and the family, Stephanopoulos family didn't really have as much to do with it, and Epiphone wasn't quite what it was, but Les Paul got very famous. Gibson puts out the Les Paul model in 1952, and thanks to Les and his suggestion, Gibson purchased us in 1957, and we've been one big happy family ever since. So, um, and today, we're um, one of the top three brands in the world separate from Gibson, as far as our size, so a lot of people don't know that, we're huge. And, um, uh, and we're rock and roll, we're making the best stuff we've ever made. And the cool thing about it, it is all portable. A pro quality stuff that I think anybody that is gamefully employed can, can afford. Um, and every day, every year, we make the stuff better and better. And that's part of my job is to talk about that stuff and tell people just how awesome it is. Um, this year, we've got a lot of new stuff here. So if you want to see some things, I'll show you some things. Wonderful. Well, I'll point over here. Now, we've got some limited edition stuff. Some things we've never made before. Some things we made before, we're bringing it back for a short period of time, such as this. We've brought back the G12. 75 double neck That's for a limited time. Excuse Everybody me. wants a double, you know, the two headed Excuse monster me. in their collection. There it is, 12 and a 6. This uh, really cool uh, 75th anniversary uh, 1939 Electar Century amplifier. That's a mouthful to say. Yeah, we're just going to make a few of those. It's wooden cabinet, A plus B, 18 watts. She's really super cool, quite collectible. Here you can see some of the new Kramer models, and Kramer is part of the Gibson brands and uh, actually uh, within uh, the Epiphone division. And you can see some of their, their new models here, which are pretty cool, like the Salt, which is that sort of an LP shape, and that, that uh, Diver 84 there. Um, moving, uh, coming this way, uh, this is something new for us this year. It's a Les Paul Express, <laughs> three-quarter size, real Les Paul, 22-inch scale, so it's incinatable and actual playable. Here we have Tommy Thayer, you know, the current lead player with KISS. That's his signature model for Space Man. We have um, our uh, G400 Pro, which these became Pro models last year. It now has our Nico Classic Pro humbucker. All of our guitars have at least our own Nico Classic pickup in it, where we use our own parts. It's that important. This is Nico Classic Pro, which is exactly the same as a Gibson 57 Classic humbucker. Exactly. We use the German nickel silver cover, base plate, and even Electrosola wire. Uh, and they have coil tapping, so you can drop it down to a single coil. And then our plus top uh, Les Pauls are now plus top pros, which means they have our new Pro Bucker. Again, like the Onico Classic Pro, it's got the nickel silver base plate and cover and a German electrosolar wire, but they're wound slightly out of phase because it's exactly the same pickup as a Gibson first bucker. You know, it's got $300 worth of pickups there, you know. So if, if someone, in fact, I've had someone say that they bought one of these guitars, put in other pickups, didn't like them, put our pickups back in and said, I can't believe it, but the Epiphone pickups, and our blind taste test this last year, 62% of people who tried every aftermarket pickup preferred ours. Wow. How about wow. that? So, it comes free with the guitar. <laughs> so, building on that, now we've got these ceramic versions, like the Gibson 490s, with ceramic magnets, so it's got that little bit of a more bite tone to it. And this comes in our Les Paul Classic T. What's special about this bad boy is 
it tunes itself. It's a robot. It's got the mini tune system on it. How about that? Oh my gosh. And it's quite, quite affordable. Everybody now can own a guitar that tunes itself. Wow. It's amazing. And wow. plus, it's got, you know, Gibson quality pickups in it. And she's gorgeous. Look at that. It just, yeah, it really is. Let's pull Classic T new this year from Epiphone. We can do that. Boot it down. How many of your new models have that uh, auto tune feature? <laughs> well, well, I'm going to show you here in a little bit. Um, this new limited edition Joe Bonamassa. <laughs> Check that out. We did uh, three runs at the gold top, and now here's the Pelham Blue. This will not last long. I'm surprised it's even still here. Wow. Because it will not last long, because Joe is popular. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of popular, the band Trivium's got quite a following in the, uh, in the metal market. And uh, here we go. This is Matt Heafy's signature Les Paul. It's got active EMGs. And a really nice cutaway there. We can really get your hand up there, and you can fret on the pickup yeah, if you want to. And it's also available in seven strings. Wow. But that, Matt Heafy. Also, we've got a limited edition Lefty Casino by Popular Demand. Limited edition Union Jack Sheridan in that nifty. That looks familiar, Gorgeous. doesn't it? Isn't yeah, that cool? a little bit. And then check this guy out. We're all excited. This is Casino Coop. Notice it's a little smaller than our regular casino. The casino, of course, is full hollow and has that nice bloom, sparkly, or breathy tone to it. No other guitar in the world can sound like a casino. Of course, the Beatles, the Kinks, the Stones, all that stuff in the 60s. This is what you hear is the casino. And uh, moving on down, we've got a limited edition white Jack Cassidy bass. Woo! This is one of the number one pro basses in the world. And now we've got a limited edition white version. Above that, you see the Brendan Small Thunder Horse. If you ever watch Metalocalypse, you'll know who that guy is. And then, of course, the affordable Toby basses from Device, which is also part of Epiphone. This is our 50th anniversary 1964 Caballero. It's a mahogany top, gorgeous guitar, and it, if I told you the price, you'd fall down. <laughs> it's so affordable, built-in tuner, solid top. Look at that, built-in tuner. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Wow. And it's a nice little size. I think it's really attractive. We nailed it. It looks just like the vintage one in our museum. <laughs> Also, a lefty version of the EJ200 CE. And for the Texan fans, we now have a lefty version. So, <laughs> so even Paul doesn't have to flip it over anymore. How about that? <laughs> and of course, you know, we've got our, our uh, acoustic pros down here, the Hummingbird Pro, Dove Pro, and EL Low Pro, all now with pickup systems, no extra charge. Our master built all solid wood electric acoustic, which is the best thing that we make, I think, in acoustic land. This guy is pretty cool, though. This is our new 350. Uh, SCE. And what's cool about that? It's a robot. It's got the mini tune system. It's the only acoustic you can buy right now. So that's very cool. I'm very proud of it. And um, it's fast, it's accurate, it's awesome. So uh, that is. Uh, that's a run through of what we have here at Epiphone in 2014. Wow, well, uh, he certainly did deserve to be called the doctor. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank y'all.